What do you mean? Like, uh, like I'm just like really sad right now, and like I need someone to, like hook up. Hook up? Like, do you wanna f me or not? Oh, um, I'm sorry, but I don't wanna see his friend. Welcome to our channel, Modern Dating here. Today we have another interesting video. Modern women like to have some guys in the friend zone as a backup plan, but the best part is when they find out that the guy in the friend zone is no longer available. How often do you have to put guys in the friend zone? Like, friend zone, no. You never put any guy in the no, friend zone? Yeah, 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 you have to. I want you to call one of these said guys that you put in the friend zone and ask them if they want to hook up tonight. <laughs> okay. Hey Peter. Yeah. Um, this is a really weird question, but do you want to hook yeah. up? Like what? tonight? Do you want to hook up? What do you mean? Like, um, uh, like I'm just like really sad right now, and like I need someone to, like hook up. Hook up? Like, do you want to me or not? Oh, um, I'm sorry, but I don't want to see his friend. This is the least response she was expecting. It's nice to see guys getting themselves out of the friend zone. She thought that he would be there until the day she decided to give him an opportunity, but instead he got himself out of it without her knowing. At this point, it seems like she was the one who was in the friend zone, but she didn't know it. This is a great case of a woman who misunderstood her position. There are many cases like this where a woman thinks that she has the guy in the friend zone only to find out later that it's the opposite. Well done. Let's check the comment section. First guy is a Chad. She thought she friend zone him. Nope. He friend zone her. This happens more often than we think modern women like to have some guys in the friend zone as a backup plan. Those guys are holding that position for a few reasons to feed their ego as well as to serve as the next guy if things go bad with their current partner. But sometimes the guy in the friend zone get out of that spot and friend zone the women instead. They only discover their position when things like this happen or when they decide to give him a chance only to find out that he is no longer available. Uh, let's check the next one. Those women ever call their male friends. Notice how easily they call them up to test them. Them calling them up without hesitation tells you they don't respect those guys and are keeping them around just for validation. It's well said. That was an excellent point. Most of them will never give those guys a chance. They only have them holding that spot for validation and to boost their ego. The next comment is from a guy who experienced a similar situation, but it came from his ex-wife. She tried that, but it didn't work for her. My ex-wife tried this crap. Or so I'm told by a mutual friend, I never looked at it. It's true. Ignore it. Sometimes staying out of this type of situation is the best thing we can do for ourselves. It will free us from a lot of future drama, especially when referring to an ex. Um, she thought she friend zoned him. Peter pulled the you know reverse card. She was shocked her shocked face was interesting. She wasn't expecting to be friend zoned by him. She thought he would be ready to do as she said, but she was late. He was already taken and he was gone. So at 22 and 40, do you think that this relationship would last without sex? Yeah, we, we, we actually haven't had, had we haven't had sex. And how long has it been? Two months. A little over two months. Why are you choosing to wait? I'm a serial monogamous and I like to make sure that I know what I'm getting into before I well, get into it. And then also on top of that, she has her rules. Rules like? I don't want to have sex with a guy for a year after knowing him. But he should know that this rule is only applied to certain guys. And he falls into that category. But the interesting thing is that he is comfortable knowing that she sees him as a simp master. Chad would get it on the same night. So he has to wait a year before. Yeah. This is what's crazy. So she says that. But we already know that I don't really have to wait for a year because it's gotten pretty far to where I could have fucking gotten already. But anyways. Don't do that. No, it has not. Stop playing with me right now. <laughs> don't do that. But why make a man wait a year who's already that's, providing for you oh, that, even as just, you... That's just like a, a personal thing. After my baby daddy, I just... I'm, nah. I'm going to be real with you. So, like... You're going to be real with him I'm about be, me. I'm going to be real with him about you. So this is the deal. Uh-uh. She's do used that. to... Like, there's dudes that always try to get stuff. And, like, they think that they pay for it and do whatever they fuck, like, um, provide whatever, that they feel like they can have whatever they want from the female. And that's what she's been dealing with. And I told her, I said, you know what, that's not what I'm about. And it's really not. 
I love her. I love her kids. You know, we have fun and everything. You know, how many kids? She has two. I have two. I'm more into it about the ending of it, not just the sex part of it. I have a lot to say about this guy, but I have decided not to. I want you guys to take a situation as an example of what not to do. He is mature enough to understand what is going on. But for some reason, he still decided to let her do her thing. He knows that those rules are only applied to the guys they don't like. The guys, they feel like they are doing them a favor. The, the guy they have in the background while Chad is getting all the benefits, it's hard to believe that a mature man would place himself in such a situation. I was expecting more from someone as mature as he is. It would be more acceptable if he was a young man without experience, but he knows better. He should do better. Guys, make sure you are not played like that. If you see it coming, uh, run fast because Chad, whom she likes, will never be required to pay any bills. And he's the one getting whatever he wants and anytime he wants while the simp master pays all the bills and still have to wait for a year. Make it make sense. Uh, I don't even know how he had the courage to stand there and do this interview as if it's nothing. This is another example of a man who is naive when it comes to the dating market and his options. So, <laughs> but I have a question. Who is going to tell him? Let's check what is going on in the comment section. Simp nominee of the year. Well said. So far, he is the winner. Uh, the funny part is that he is comfortable, even though he knows that he's been played. He knows what position he holds, but still he decided to go along with it. Let's check the next one. Um, it's from a, a woman who is doing her best to justify the young women's new standard. You all act like people can't have new standards just because they've lived a different life beforehand. I, I guess you all haven't changed one bit over the years. Standard is good, and I believe that everyone should have them especially when we choose a partner. But the challenging part is when the standard is not applied to everyone. These same standards she mentioned only apply because he's not Chad in her eyes. She saw him as a simp and he proved her right. We know that there is another guy who is currently getting it without any waiting time. So like, why should he wait for a year? She should apply the same rule to everyone. Let's check the next one. Moment of silence for this man. Um, I agree with that. He needs it. The way he talks about their situation is hilarious. Um, he is completely unaware of his dating options. He needs one of you guys next to him to drop him some knowledge. The next comment mentions the truth. Someone should have told him he needed someone to be honest and tell him that he is wasting his time and resources. Let's have a look at it. That's uh, she has a baby daddy, but she making you wait a year. She doesn't want you, bro. Who going to tell him, ah, this is why it's important when we have real friends next to us, because sometimes we can't see things even though they are clean and clear, but if we have real friends, they will be able to tell us what is going on and it can save us a lot of time and resources. The time he is spending entertaining her could be used to find another woman who has a genuine interest in him, a woman who won't make him wait for a year. What benefits do you get from having him as a friend? So the benefits that I get is like, he can tell me like what guys are into me and what guys aren't. One minute of silence here, guys. This is beyond simp. Um, this is not even a friend zone. She said that the benefit she gets from having him as a friend is that he is the one telling her what guys are and aren't interested in her. What type of relationship is that? Is this the extent these guys think they have to go in order to get the girl they want? Do they really think that this will ever work in their favor? What benefits does he get from having you as a friend? All right, it's, it's you. <laughs> it's different perspectives, you know what I mean? Every person is different. People are just people. If we like the same things, why can't we be friends? It doesn't matter who you are or what you are. If somebody tried to rob you right now, do you expect him to try and step in? Um, I feel like because he is my friend 100%. If he's going to risk his life for you, what do you think would be an equal benefit for him having you as a friend? I, I don't even know how to answer the question right now because, like, I, 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 I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I said, I don't look at it like that. I do for you what I would do for anybody. So for me, it makes no difference who it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get any benefit with being friends with her if I was friends with you. Right. Guys, let's stop this. If you like a woman, be honest, let her know about your intentions. And if it doesn't go as you expect, it's okay. Move on and find another woman who probably will be happy to have you as a partner. But you should do your best to avoid doing what he is doing. This is not the way to go. And to be honest, the likelihood of a man getting what he wants diminishes when he starts acting this way. Acting as a woman besties is not the right path to get what you want. Um, is he holding the position of vetting men for her? 
guys. Make sure you do better and be upfront with your intentions. Uh, you will thank me later and she also will appreciate your honesty. The funny part about scenes like this is the fact that those guys think that they are fooling these women, not knowing that she is well aware that he wants to be more than just her friend and this dishonest behavior will work against him. I am excited about the comments. Let's have a look at the comment section. Right now, bro, get out of there. Stop wasting your time. Paul said he can do a lot better. Stop uh, wasting your time with people who are not on the same page as you are. I don't know why some guys think that staying in the friend zone will lead them to be more than just a friend. The time he spends vetting men for her could be used to find his own woman. The next comment is part of this guy's dream. Uh, the He just staying around hoping he gets that midnight call. But the, the likelihood of him getting that call is minimal. He's using the wrong method, and this is why he is less likely to be called at that time. The midnight call is not for Sims. It's not for the guy vetting Chad for her. The way he is going, the best he will get is a call at 2 p.m. when she wants to complain about the chat she called the night before. The next comment is good advice for all guys who are currently in the friend zone. If applied, it can help them get out of it. Let's check it. I bet he expressed his feeling for her and now she's just stringing him along. If I was in his shoes, I would date other women and spend less time with her. I bet she'd get jealous. Dating other women can work in favor of guys in the friend zone because it will make them see that other women have chosen that guy which can increase their value as we know. They like pre-selected men, the men that other women want. How often do you have to put guys in the friend zone? Um, very often. Very often? Yeah. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to call one of those guys and ask them if they want to hook up. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Oh, uh, I was wondering mm -hmm. if you wanted to hook up. Um. I feel like he could just make gotcha, so what? I want to answer this on the phone. Okay, you want to answer uh -huh. this on the phone? Uh -huh. But you don't want to hook up? I just don't want to answer it. Why would you say that? I don't know, let's talk IRL. You sure you don't want to hook up? I'm not answering it. Say so now's your only chance. Now's your only chance. No, I'm good. <laughs> okay. Uh. She was shocked that he was good. She expected him to be ready to roll, but he was no longer on the market. She was the one in the friend zone and didn't know it. This is all for today's video. See you guys on the next one.